So we move on to the next question. So the other question is asking us to sketch the graphs of um, lean functions. So this is a very simple question. How do you solve or how do you graph the graphs? Uh, I mean, how do you sketch the graphs of uh, lean functions? It's a very simple question. So we have the first, um, the first one that we have is uh, the lean of um, negative x. So I'm going to show you the simplest method ever, which you are going to be using. So what you just need to do is to get whatever that you have in brackets there. Then you equate the first one, you are going to equate it where? You're going to equate it to uh, zero. Then the second one, you're going to equate what you have in brackets there to what? To one. And then thirdly, you're going to equate what you have in brackets to what? To E. And the reason we're doing this is to find the X values that are going to, or, I mean, that are going to give us the direction of this curve. So when you equate, um, when you equate, um, when you equate uh, x to zero, uh, you, you are going to get the first. Um, okay. So we have, we, we have x there, and then we have f of x there. So, when you equate um, x to zero, it means that you are getting the vertical asymptote. Yeah, it means that you are getting the vertical asymptote. So what you get after equating uh, what you have there to zero is called the vertical asymptote. So meaning this is the line which will never meet with a curve. And then what you get there and there are the values that you're going to place uh, here. So let us do that. So when we equate that to zero, we're getting the value of X being equal to what? Zero. So this is our vertical asymptote. Then when you equate this to one, the value of X is going to be what? X is going to be negative one. When you divide by negative one on both sides, you get X is equal to negative one. So the first value of X will be negative one. The second value of X is going to be what? It's going to be, um, it's going to be when you divide by negative x on both sides, you're going to have x being equal to negative e. But e, we know that e is a number on a calculator which is uh, approximately 2.71. Yeah, so it's, I think, 2.718. Yeah, it goes on like that. So I'm going to be using it at, as 2.7. And I'm going to write my negative 2.7 there. So the reason why I'm equating to E is because that's the base that we have. When you're dealing with lean, the base is always E. So if we had, let's say for instance, the log of X or negative X, we would, instead of putting E here, I would have put 10 because the base is 10 here. If that was the base three, I would have put three where there's E there. So that is the same way I'm going to sketch this is exactly how you sketch the log um, equations. Uh, yeah, I mean the log functions. Okay, so um, let us now find the values here. So when X is negative one, what happens if we put negative one there? So we find F of negative one. So this will be the lean of uh, negative one. Oh, rather there's already a negative inside there. So we're going to have negative times negative. So negative times negative one there. So this will give us what? The lean of positive one. And we, we know to say lean one is simply just what? Zero. So we know that lean one is zero. So we are going to put zero there. And then, um, when X is zero, when X is zero, uh, when X is zero, I forgot to find the value when X is, Zero. Oh, that's a vertical asymptote, sorry. So I'm not supposed to find that. We're just supposed to find it as a line. We're going to show it when we start sketching. So I'm not supposed to include it here. So what if we put uh, negative E here? When we put negative E, we're going to have F of negative E will therefore be equal to the lean of negative, negative E. And this will be the lean of E. So the lean of E, is simply just the log of 
E base E, which gives us what? One. So we're going to have one there. And then we can now sketch the curve. So sketching will therefore be simple because we know our vertical asymptote is simply just um, the y axis where we know that. Um, so we have y there and x axis. So the vertical asymptote is this line because um, this is the line which shows, uh, or rather, where x is equal to zero, zero lines. So we have this is our vertical asymptote. And um, we can plug in our value. So we have negative one comma zero, which is uh, our approximated to be there, negative one comma zero. So we have one point there. Then we also have negative 2.7 comma seven. So we have negative 2.7, our pro approximated to be there, comma what? Comma one, not seven rather. So we have comma one. So I'll also put my one there. So we have another point somewhere there. So if this is the two, if these are the two points that we have, means that we're going to have our curve coming out like that. So this curve is going to pass at that point, then goes down. So when you look at this curve, or when you when you're drawing this curve, it shouldn't meet the vertical asymptote, which is this one here in this case. Okay. So I'm sure if you have not gotten the concept on the first one, I'm pretty sure I'm going to you're going to get the concept as we proceed. So this one was actually, is actually the simplest on these questions. So we proceed to the next one. So the next one we have is G of X being equal to the lean of X minus three. So if this is what we have, remember to find the vertical asymptote, you equate what is in the brackets there to what? To zero. So you have X minus three is equal to zero. And the vertical asymptote therefore becomes, so the vertical asymptote Will therefore be um, when, okay, let me just write it properly step by step. So X will therefore be equal to, we take this to the other side of the equal sign, this would be X is equal to three. And uh, this is our vertical asymptote. So if this is our vertical asymptote, um, if this is our vertical asymptote, we proceed now to find the X values that we're going to put in the table of values. So the X values are found by equating the same thing that is in the brackets there uh, to one, and you also have to equate the same thing that is in the brackets to what? To E, which is in this case, I'm going to be using 2.7. So if we do that, so the first value of X, when you get X, X minus three to one, this goes that side, we're going to have X is equal to one plus three, which gives us four. So the first value of X will be four there. And then when we get it to E, we're going to have, yeah, we're going to have X being equal to what? Um, e plus three, when you take this three to the other side of the equal sign. So we're going to have E plus three there. So you can write E plus three there. Or if you want, you can add 2.7 plus three. You still have the same answer. So we can now find the, the values. Yeah, we can now find the y values. So how do we find the y values? It's simple. You, you put uh, four, there's x there. So when you put four there, you're going to have the lean of four minus three, which is going to be the lean of uh, one. So the lean of one is what? Is zero. So we put zero there. And then you also plug in what? E plus three. So you're going to have the lean of E plus three there. But because, but but of course we have a minus three there, so we put minus three, and this is going to be what three minus three will give us zero. So we have lean e as as the remaining part. So the lean of e is what is one. So we put one there. So sketching the graph is going to be easy, having gotten these lines, uh, rather these points. So I have the x and the y there. Then um, we first start by placing in the vertical asymptote. So the vertical asymptote is X is equal to three. So I'm going to count one, two, three there. So this is my vertical asymptote and it's going to be drawn there. And then after drawing the vertical asymptote, we now plug in these points, four comma zero. So four comma zero is going to be there. And then the other point is um, E plus three. So E plus three is going to be the same as 2.7 plus three, which is giving us what? Five. 
So I uh, mean 5.7. So 5.7 can be somewhere there. 5.7 comma one. So comma one, my one is going to be there. So this is um, the orientation of my curve. It's going to be like that. This is the direction of my curve. So it's as simple as this. I don't know if there's anything difficult in doing this. Okay, we proceed to the next question. So the remaining questions are almost are all almost the same. So I'm just going to solve C and I think D. Yeah, I think I'll just solve C and D. And then E is going to be an exercise. You can draw it, you can sketch it and then send it over to my WhatsApp line. Okay, so H of X is going to be equal to the lean of X uh, plus seven. So the vertical asymptote for this one, we equate X to zero. And then the first, the values that we're going to get and put in the table of values, we equate X to one and we equate X to E. So this is our vertical asymptote. So we draw the table of values. So the first value of X there that we have is what? is one, the second value is E. Um, then the other thing that we do is we replace in the values there. So when we put one where there is X there, we're going to have the lean of one plus seven, and this will give us what? What is lean one? Lean one is zero plus seven, that is going to be what? Seven, so we have seven there. And then if we plug in E there, we're going to have the lean of E uh, plus seven is equal to, so uh, the lean of E here gives us one and then plus seven, this will give us eight. So sketching this is going to be simple. So this is our zero. So our vertical asymptote is e X is equal to zero. So vertical asymptote X is equal to zero. It's along the Y axis. This is our vertical asymptote. So the vertical asymptote is along the Y axis because it's X is equal to zero. Then we plug in the points. So here we have eight. We plug in these two points. We have one comma seven. So I have one comma seven. So I'll, I'll put my seven there. So I'm, so I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight there. So my seven is somewhere there. So one comma seven. And then E comma um, eight. So E, E is 2.7, I'm assuming it to be equal to be two, two, to be equal to 2.7. So my 2.7 can be somewhere there. So it's 2.7 comma eight. So if you look at this, it's going to move like that. So it shouldn't cross the vertical asymptote. So this is the curve. So they are very simple. We we'll do the last one. So we have f of x is equal to the lean of X plus two minus four. So we do the same, we find the vertical asymptote by equating that to zero. So the vertical asymptote is X is equal to negative two. So this is our vertical asymptote. Then from there, we can find the table, the values that are going to plug into the table of values. So how do we find those values? We first start by equating X plus two to one, and then we also equate X plus two to E, which is uh, 2.7. So we put in the values there. So we can, um, I mean, we start with this one. So we're going to have X plus two being equal to one. So when two closes the equal sign, we have X being equal to one minus two and X becomes negative uh, one. So we have negative one there when X is what? is um, when X is, um, oh, sorry. The value of X is negative one. Then what if uh, X plus two is equated to E? So we're going to have X plus two being equal to E and these two cross the equal sign, hence we have the value of X being equal to uh, E minus two. So E minus two is another uh, value there that we're going to have. So if you pl plug in negative one in this um, expression, what are we going to have? So if we put negative one while there's X there, we're going to have, we're going to have the lean of negative one plus two. So we're going to have the lean of negative one plus two and this uh, and, and minus four this side. So the lean of negative one plus two here will give us 
um, negative one plus two give us one, and then we have minus four this side. So in one is zero, then we have negative four. So uh, zero minus four, we have negative four as the solution. So we have negative four there. So we can also plug in, um, we can also plug in the, so we can also plug in the, this number there. So we find the lean of E minus two, uh, but of course in there we have a plus two there. So we add a plus two there, then we have minus four outside. So negative two and positive two there will give us a zero. So we we'll just remain with lean E. So the lean of E minus four. So lean E will give us one minus four, we get negative three as the answer. So we have negative three there. So we can do the sketching quickly. So the sketching is going to be, we have a zero there and then we can plug in the values. So we have, um, so we have um, the vertical asymptote is uh, negative two. So our vertical asymptote is negative two. So we have negative one there, negative two there. So this is our vertical asymptote, it's passing at negative one. Oh, sorry, it's supposed to pass at negative one with negative two. So our vertical asymptote, yeah, sorry, I'm looking at something else. So the vertical asymptote is at negative two. So the way I drew it is the way it's supposed to be. So it's at negative two. And then the coordinates here, we have negative one comma negative four. So we have negative one comma, negative four, one, two, three, four. So this is my negative four. So I'm going to have one coordinate there. Then we have E minus two. So E minus two is just the same as 2.7 minus two, which gives me what? Uh, 0 0.7. So this is just the same as 0 0.7 uh, comma negative three. So 0 0.7 comma negative three. So 0 0.7 can be uh, somewhere where. So 0 0.7 can be approximately somewhere there, then comma negative three. So negative three somewhere there. So we have the line somewhere there. So this is how it's going to come out. Just make sure that it doesn't cross the vertical asymptote. All right, do we have questions um, from what I've explained? Do we have questions? Okay, so if you don't have questions, let's move on to the next question. <clears throat> 